and welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to be using the app Too Good To Go. In case you guys don't know about it, I think it might, I don't know, I'm literally guessing here, but I'm assuming it's just in the UK. And basically it's this app where different food places put up what they call a magic bag and you pay a really discounted price to get a bag of food. It's a way to reduce waste. And essentially it's eating leftovers because it's not purchased by somebody on the app, they'll be throwing it in the bin. So it's a really good app and it's really good fun because you've got no idea what you're getting and you're doing your bit to help the planet, okay? So it's been a while since I've done this. I did it once before. There's lots of places in my area that do it. I've avoided doing it at grocery places. I don't know, just because there's probably people that are actually more in need of a grocery bag because when I did it at Morrison's, I got a huge bag and it had loads of food and it was super cheap. So yeah, I thought I'd just steer away from groceries. If you don't know what the app's about, then Google it. You can download it for free. It's just a bit of fun, okay? I personally think it's fun anyway. I mean, I'm nearly 30, but getting a bag full of food that you've got no idea what's gonna be in it, is fun to me. Clearly I need to get out more on that. I'm joking, I'm sure most of you guys would find it fun. With this app, they give you a half an hour slot to pick the things up and obviously they're gonna be at the end of the day because it's whatever's left at the end of the day. So I picked this stuff up yesterday. So I'll show you clips of me opening the bags but they'll be flashing back to when I picked them up yesterday. <laughs> I hope you guys enjoyed this one. If you do, please don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you're new here. Let's see what I had for breakfast. Good morning, it's time for me to have breakfast and the first thing I'm gonna have is something from Starbucks so as I said at the start I picked these things up the night before so I'll insert a clip of me now opening my magic bag from Starbucks I've got a really full bag here the first thing at the top is the signature breakfast sandwich I've had this before and it was really good looks like I've got four sandwiches next thing on the menu is a red Leicester cheese and pickle sandwich we then have the ham and cheese toasty this ham and cheese toasty is so good this is not for me I've tried one too many vegan things in my time to know veganism is not for me but this is the Beyond Meat breakfast sandwich and then the last thing on the menu we have the steak and cheese panini and the Starbucks one is £3.59 now all of this stuff by the looks of it goes out of date today but I'm sure it'll be fine tomorrow but yeah bear in mind these things are normally like five six pounds on their own so good and do you know what was interesting when i was picking this up there was a man in front of me also picking it up and i just really would have loved to have been like wait there let's compare the bags i wonder what he got with that selection i'm sure you can guess what i've chose to have as my breakfast i am gonna have the signature breakfast sandwich i think before when i recooked something from starbucks i burnt the top so i'm gonna remove the top bit of the roll and then just chuck the bottom half in the air fryer i'm gonna try maybe like five minutes in the air fryer see how i get on hopefully haven't overdone it. it smells delicious this has relish in it rather than ketchup but i have added a little bit of ketchup it feels really soft still The bun is actually perfect. When I'm eating relish, it reminds me of something I'd have at dinner time. So when I just got the taste of relish then, it weirded me out. I was like, what am I eating? It was a really tough choice to be fair between this and the cheese toasty because I love the cheese toasty. I really do. This also has scrambled egg, but there is honestly the tiniest bit. Obviously where I took it apart and then was trying to like rearrange the bacon so that all the bacon got cooked properly. I could see it underneath and I was like, that is the smallest bit of egg I've ever seen. There's probably about half an egg in there. Mm -hmm. That's what the relish reminds me of. Pizza, it's giving breakfast pizza. Also, I've decided the reason why Starbucks didn't give me anything sweet is because they serve their sweet stuff stale. <laughs> I remember once when me and my mum went and got a bit of cake from Starbucks. They literally gave us a stale bit of cake. It definitely should have gone the day before or the day before that. I was trying to think what I got from Starbucks before. I do feel like it was all the same stuff. I can vividly remember Costa. Costa, I got three muffins. Exactly the same thing, but just different flavours. Do you know what I noticed wasn't on there anymore? Tim Hortons, which was really interesting because when I went to Tim Hortons before, I think I got six donuts or potentially 12 and a load of Tim bits. But yeah, it wasn't on the app anymore. 
Also, I already know what food I've got for the whole day. So I know what I'm going to be eating. My boyfriend just shotgunned a few things. I'm about to go around Emma's because she's off work today. So I'm going to go sit in her garden for a bit before I go and get my nails done. I don't know what to get for my nails. There's no point in asking you because by the next time you see me, I'll have my nails done. I just don't know what to get. Anyway, so I'm going to go around Emma's. And I'm going to take everything that hasn't already been taken. My boyfriend took some things for his lunch already. And then there's something that needs to be heated up. So he couldn't eat that at work. So everything else I'm going to take to hers because she lives in home with many other people, unlike me. Well, at least we're off to a good start. Maybe it's going to be a good day. Obviously, I already know what I've got. But yeah, I will see you guys now for lunch. It's time for lunch and I'm going to do a mix of two places. So the first place I went to was the Brick Lane Bagel Company. So I'll insert what I got from there. Here is the bag from the Brick Lane Bagel Company. This is hectic. The bag actually split. That's how you know it's got a lot in it. So I can already see half of the contents. Inside we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine ten bagels i think you well you more than likely can freeze those like any bread right so i can chuck what i don't use in the freezer and then there's also two things that are wrapped up um they don't have any details about what they are so this looks like a chicken mayo bagel. I thought I might get a mixture of things in here because they do also do pastries and stuff, but no pastries, it looks like all bagels. So yeah, that's chicken and mayo, I hope. And then again, one that looks exactly the same, but maybe barbecue chicken mayo. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to eat them. You know what I'm like with chicken and that looks pretty rank. Oh my God, that actually looks like a bum hole. Look. Would I say that's worth £3.50? Because who needs 10 bagels? As I said, I can put them in the freezer, but I don't actually have that much freezer space. <laughs> Let me know what you think. I know that these bagels themselves are nice toasted, so they'll come to good use, but I don't know if it's that exciting. And then the next bag I picked up that I'm also going to be having some bits with for my lunch was Greg. So again, I'll insert a clip now of me opening my Greg's bag. Next up, or potentially first up, I don't even know what order I'm going to eat these things in because I don't really know what I've got. I've been to Greg's. This cost £2.59. And again, this is a big hefty bag. I think the last one I just got like four donuts and four sausage rolls. I can already see I've got a mixture of things. So first thing I've got, which is actually one of my favorite things, the tuna crunch baguette. So good. We have a steak bake. Then we have the vegan sausage roll. I have tried this before. Did we get two of these? I didn't really like it. And a normal sausage roll, a four pack of jam donuts, a two pack of ring donuts bearing in mind this is for £2.59 and then the last item which I can see through the packet and you know what it's actually really good they've labelled everything up this is the jammy heart biscuit I love this biscuit because I'm a jam lover that is so worth it right so as you can see I got a lot so in terms of the Greg stuff I actually just dropped the donuts off to Emma's as I said because she's got family who will eat it and obviously we've still got more to come we're not at the end of the day and in terms of the bagels my boyfriend took the chicken ones to lunch with him i personally really didn't want to eat them i don't know the chicken like the fact that it's not fresh but it's been made i don't know you know what i'm like with chicken so my boyfriend took that for lunch and i don't know why i did that he also had a bagel last night he just couldn't resist the rest i put in the freezer and then i've got three here because i'm gonna have one for my lunch now i'm gonna have a few different things for lunch i'm gonna have one bagel I'm just gonna have it with butter. I did think about maybe I should make an exciting bagel, but the only thing I've really got in my flat that I could put in it is tuna. But obviously I've got that tuna crunch baguette. I didn't want double tuna. So I'm just gonna have a plain bagel and then I'm gonna have, I don't know if I want the sausage roll or the steak bake. I think sausage roll, they are my favorite. And then I'll have something sweet after. But for now, I'm just gonna have a buttered bagel and a sausage roll. All right, guys, I have my buttered bagel. Lure pack just makes everything 10 times better, so should be good. Mmm, it doesn't taste, not that I thought it would, but it doesn't taste stale. Do you know what I realised that I've proper messed up on though? I've just chucked the bagels in the freezer and they'll be frozen by now because I did it last night. Hole, oh, the only thing am I dumb? I should have cut them all in half because 
when I want to go chuck one in the toaster, it's not going to fit. So how am I going to eat them now? Because I actually don't know. Please let me know. How do I defrost bread? Because I'm not going to be able to cut a frozen bagel in half. Like that's going to be mission impossible. Also got my nails done. Little lemons. So cute. Also, I sat in Emma's garden and I've burnt myself. Which is fabulous. Anyway, I need to hurry up and eat this. Buttered bread or whatever this buttered dough. <laughs> needs to be eaten quick. Here's my sausage roll, got ketchup. I'm very aware this is a very beige day of food, but I'm totally here for it. We all know my love for beige food. Also guys, I've decided what I'm gonna be doing for my 30th with my friends. I already know like what I'm doing with my family, kind of know what I'm doing with my boyfriend. With the girls, I had the date in their diaries, but I was like, I don't know what to do. I was like, a bottomless brunch is just so basic. So it's a dinner, like it's not, like obviously if you do that for yours, great. And that's what I was gonna do. But it just, I don't know, something just wasn't sitting right with me. I am an extravagant person when it comes to birthdays, other people's birthdays. I just love birthdays. I love making a fuss. And it's my 30th, so I've decided that I'm gonna do my own little bottomless brunch. And if you've been here for a while, then you will remember my 27th birthday, which is actually crazy. I did a vlog on it, and I did this thing in my mum and dad's garden. And so I was like, mum, dad, um, can I use your garden again? <laughs> so i'm gonna do that and i've just been looking on sheen because when i was with emma she was like sheen do loads of good stuff just to like put around because i'm gonna get a marquee but now i'm super excited so i'm gonna be doing hannah's bottomless brunch when i did it before i did bottomless brunch tea party but i'm not gonna do a tea party again because been there done that so let me know any places that you've got party things from or if you've thrown like a little summer garden gathering and you want to send me some inspiration please do but now i'm excited I'm like, oh, this is something for me to look forward to and plan over the next couple of months. I'm gonna be doing a pink theme again. Ellen does really amazing setups. Her Instagram is HGJ Events. I'll put a picture up of like one of her setups. I'm so excited. I just feel less stressed now, although there's still lots to sort out for Marbella. Even though we've booked flights and accommodation, we haven't booked any day events. So we need to get that sorted as well. But I just can't believe it's less than two months away now to my 30th year. I feel like this year has gone scarily fast. This in an air fryer, by the way, is amazing. It tastes better than like a fresh one that you get in Greg's. Anyway, I'll see you guys in a bit for something sweet. I'm having my something sweet. This is from Greg's and we have the Jammy Heart Biscuit. That's still good. Oh, right. I am not okay. I was thinking, why is it not breaking off? It's because I was literally about to eat the paper. I'm trying to eat it in the bag so it don't go everywhere, but I'm just going to abort that mission because it's hard to eat. This is so simple yet so effective. Oh, yeah. I see that they brought out large jammy dodgers. I really need to try that. I think it was in the UK. Yeah, I'm sure it is. It's a UK biscuit. Guys, let me know in the comments the best too good to go bag you've ever had. I feel like this Greg's one was pretty good. Definitely better than the last one I had anyway. What other ones have I had? There are ones on my too good to go that are like more dinner places, but they're not a surprise bag. So you pay a certain amount and then you go in there and you get to pick it. And I just thought, that's not really fun, is it? I'm just basically getting a discounted version of something rather than a magic bag. And I feel like that's the excitement of Too Good To Go. So hence why I've done all magic bags in today's video. I've still got another bag to go, which you haven't seen yet. Um, but yeah, I just thought, because there's like a Harvester one, a Tortilla one. If I just get a box and go and fill it up myself in Harvester, in the salad bar, which I assume that's what it's like, then that's boring, in my opinion. The money buy it. I will see you guys now for dinner. It's time for dinner and I'm gonna have something else that I got from Greg's, which you already saw. Now, as I said, when I showed you the Greg's thing, I think this is one of my favorite things, but as the day has progressed, I have started to overthink this because 
baskets. It is the Tuna Crunch Baguette and I just can't help think that it's old tuna. I don't know. I'm sh oh, freshly prepared today. So it's only one day old tuna, really, if it was made yesterday. So that's fine. I hope. So this has red onion and peppers in it. So I'm going to zhuzh this up, cut it in half, even it out a bit. I might actually add a bit of cheese. Yeah, let's add some cheese. I'm progressively getting redder, by the way. It's, um, it's not good. I won't lie, this feels very dry. I've had it in the fridge, obviously, because it needs to be kept refrigerated, but I don't know how good this is gonna be now. And I'll finally be getting in some veg today. <laughs> oh. Definitely on the drier side, but it still tastes good. I really was getting worried that I wasn't gonna eat this, but it's fine, it hasn't given me the ick just yet. It's time for dessert and the last magic bag of the day. So I'm gonna insert a clip from when I got it yesterday. It's time for the patisserie. And this is another one that feels really hefty. So this one cost me four pounds. This is just like a little stall that they have in Lakeside. I don't know if there's more than one of them there probably is um if it was established in 1917 because it's actually quite new to lakeside so let's see what's inside let's just look oh it's all the same thing what it's just a whole box of brownies i'm so sad i thought i'd get a mixture of things and they have like cream cakes they have so much there and i paid four pounds six bits of brownie i was really hoping for a selection of cakes not all of the same thing anyway let's hope they taste good let me know what you think of that because i was deeply saddened and then when i looked at the reviews after its overall rating was 3.5 so i don't know why i had high hopes but considering it was the most expensive bag getting six brownies is just it was just boring isn't it there's no magic in that not to be ungrateful god better not be ungrateful anyway i don't know if i showed it up close so i just filmed a little clip of it i'll put it on the screen now and i've put it in the microwave because it looked dry and obviously it's been in my fridge so i have melted it not completely but it definitely already looks a lot better it seems to have a couple of bits of white chocolate in it as well make sure i don't burn my mouth maybe i will hot I can't lie. It's a good brownie. I definitely reckon it's better heated up. I'm just sad that I don't have any ice cream. How good would some ice cream go with that? Mm. I mean, this is what I was hoping I would get. Something like this, or at least an assortment. You know, one brownie, one bit of cake. Even on their website, it doesn't show brownies. I wonder if they just buy brownies. This could literally be Betty Crocker that they've added some chocolate chips on top. And then they just make them for two good to go bags. I mean, it's quite a smart move. Anyway, it's a delicious brownie and a good way to end the day. I'm glad I got something else at least. A bit more exciting, you know? Anyway, I'm going to wrap the video up here. I hope you guys have enjoyed this one. If you did, please don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you're new here. I'm just going to say bye because I can't get my, I can't get my words out. <laughs>